this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life and welcome back to my channel. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be talking about what is happening in your career right now. What do you need to know? Uh, before we get into this reading, I just want to shout out real quick that I'm having my holiday sale. Maybe you've seen a bunch of posts about it. I'm really excited. I'm offering 15% off any of my services, anything on my website. All you have to do is just enter in the code HOLIDAY15 at checkout. Now I'm selling 2023 yearly review readings. These readings are like intense. They're like an hour, they're over an hour long and we're going month by month for 2023. Uh, to see what's in store for you. All the major themes in your love, life, finances, career. Um, I offer this every year. It's a seasonal product and I don't have many left in stock because uh, these readings take a lot of time. Like I'm only able to do like one or two of them a day. So I've been busy <laughs> getting everybody's readings done, but I'm having so much fun. I'm really enjoying it. And um, <clears throat> I would suggest that product if you're like, hmm, I don't really know what I want. Check that out. Um, but yeah, I've got Skype chats. I have, um, if you want to become a professional tarot reader like this and have a business like mine, I have a course for that. Um, I've got life coaching, you guys know, check it out, check it out on the site, and I'm just really happy to offer this discount for you all. I only have this big sale once a year. Sometimes I put little tiny sales on, but nothing this big, usually never more than 10%, so this is a big deal. Check it out, get it while you can, and if you have any questions, of, like you just want to know how does this work, uh, you can email me. So let's talk about the career. You guys, a lot of you have been asking me these questions lately. There have been a lot of shifts going on. Maybe you're worried about something or you have questions. I'm hoping that you will be guided to choose the right card for yourself. So take some deep breaths, relax, get some tea. Sometimes this is a topic that can bring up a little bit of anxiety. So my goal is to just help you find your balance and peace in this situation. And I'm really just intending that you're called to choose the crystal or the card that you feel drawn to the most and that it will be accurate for you. And if it is, you have to let me know in the comments below after the reading. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that notification bell, especially because I do free readings on my channel all the time. So you don't want to miss uh, when I do these free readings. That's why you want to hit the bell. So you can choose a card that you feel drawn to the most to get this message. Number one, number two, or number three. Once you've chosen, head down below to the comments or to the description where the timestamps are posted and you can just click on your timestamp and instantly be fast forwarded to your part in the reading. And I'll see you for your reading soon. For those of you guys who choose number one, we're going to look into what is happening in your career right now. What do you need to know? And we're going to start obviously with these cards that you pulled, uh, that you chose, but I'm going to freestyle pull some more cards for you too before we get into it. And let's throw in some of these. <laughs> I know you guys love these cards. This is a deck that I actually made myself. Um, and you can only see it here on this channel. And it's always so on point. Okay. So, look at this. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas Touch. I feel like a lot of you guys who chose this are freelancers or you're really asking more about um, an idea that you have, a business that you want to start, a side hustle that you're doing. Perhaps you have a day job. 
and you're just working with that to like keep the lights on food on the table pay the bills but you're like your career like you're thinking more about your career path and um there is this message that you're establishing yourself in this new field that people are starting to see you as someone who's very professional and like very successful now maybe like all the money hasn't really been coming because you're like, I'm getting clout from this and people are noticing um, or like I'm establishing myself in this field or this industry or I've put in the work, or I've done the education, but it might just be that it's frustrating that you're not like completely, uh, you know, dependent on it. Like you'd like to get a fat paycheck and then <laughs> support yourself off this, but it's just not there yet. Um, but your guides are saying that things are going to become more successful. Like right now, like you're going to get emails and messages, DMs, people wanting to hit you up and connect with you. And at the time that I'm doing this reading, it is a, it is a timeless reading, but it's currently like kind of the holiday season for a lot of people. So maybe you're worried, like, am I going to get support right now? Or am I going to get the clients I need or the customers or like the hours or whatever it is? But there's this message that everybody's going to be pulling up for you. Everyone's going to be showing up for you even throughout this season and especially around January into the new year. Um, I wonder if some of you guys um, work in like the wedding industry or something related to like event planning or something like that. That would be really fascinating because there's kind of a vibe, but there's a lot of people watching this and I feel like this is talking about how you have a really emotional connection to the work that you do. It's like you're an artist, like it's a part of you. It's not just something that you can clock in and clock off. It's like you live and breathe this work and you're very attached to it. and we are also getting the Ten of Hearts, the Ten of Cups, which is talking about like celebration and family and like just love and union. And I just feel like there's this message coming through that like you're going to be able to support yourself or you're going to be able to support your family or you're going to build a really happy and fulfilling life for yourself on this path. I, I'm getting kind of the cliche message to tell you just not to give up. Um, you've had to hustle a lot to keep going on this path. You've had to maybe, you know, take, uh, these day jobs or take some other path, um, parallel to this to help you support yourself and make ends meet. Because if you're freelancing or you're trying to get something off the ground, um, it takes time. And, you know, there's this message too, to, to kind of tell you maybe to read some books about business because you're so artistic, but you might need a little bit more business sense. Not trying to like tell you you're doing bad in that area or anything, but it might actually comfort you to know that a lot of businesses to turn like a profit or a living wage are going to take years. And so you might be sitting there thinking like, oh gosh, I should give up or maybe this, I should just go back to making this a hobby or maybe I shouldn't go down this path because like it's not paying off. You Like I just feel like that's the worry. But literally right now in your career, you're having like a huge glow up and like people are starting to notice. And if you stopped now, like it would literally be like quitting five minutes before the miracle. I do see how right now you're feeling indecisive. You're just, did I make the wrong choice? Maybe I should try something else. Maybe I should rebrand again. Maybe I should switch to a different path. But like, no, 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 no. You have to keep going. And your guides are like admiring the fact that you've been consistent. Just because you want to give up sometimes and throw in the towel and you cry and you're just like comparing yourself to others and thinking like, how did they get that far? But I've been doing it this much longer. And like, why am I not? You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you get in those moods, but like, it doesn't, that's not actually the truth of what's happened. Like other people don't even see you like that. It doesn't matter what other people think, but like people admire your consistency. They are starting to know you for doing this. And, um, you actually come across as very confident. Um, but I also feel like this is a message like to keep 
going, keep being consistent. Um, you know, you, many people will be admiring you very soon. Your confidence is building. And so really you are exactly where you need to be right, right now. And that's what's going on in your career. So I hope that this resonates with you. I hope this is really what you needed to know right now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget that if you're interested in a personal reading, this is a great time to get it because I'm having a holiday sale going on until November 28th. So these are your last couple days <laughs> to purchase with the sale price. Just enter in holiday 15 at checkout. But you can also just give this a thumbs up. That's a great way to support me in the, in the work that I do as well. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Peace out. Those of you guys who choose number two, what do you need to know about your career right now? What's going on? This is the card that you chose, but I'm also going to freestyle pull some more cards real quick as I tap into your energy. You are in such a huge transition right now. And oh my gosh, look at this card. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. I think that you have an opportunity to leave this job that you're in. <laughs> Um, it might not feel like an opportunity. You might just feel like you're at your wit's end. You might just feel like you are done. You might feel like exhausted, stressed out, and like you're just praying that this situation will be balanced. The truth is this job has been running you ragged. You haven't had any time for your love life or you know, the, the projects that you have going outside of this job, because I see you're a princess of pentacles. And this isn't about gender. Don't worry, like, you know, if you're male, female, non-binary, whatever, anything in between. But this is um, a message that you're someone who's really in touch with your divine feminine energy. And you have like a lot of projects that you like to do outside of work. So you might be like the jack of all trades, the renaissance man or the renaissance woman, the renaissance person who likes to cook and sew and decorate and um, dance. And, you know, you, you've got all these little things you love to do, but I just see like your house or your apartment like in disarray, like a mess, like your your art supplies, things that haven't been touched for a while, like... It's like you can hardly get a moment to yourself to just like be free. And this job and this career that you're in, it's not a bad path for you. It's like you're really supported and like you're really high up in the company or like you're working your way up. You're getting like these cool opportunities and um, you might have studied really hard to get where you're at. And it might just be that like not one job or not one career path is ever going to satisfy you. I feel like you're someone who needs to have your finger in a lot of different pies. But the problem is, is when your work-life balance gets out of whack, you're not able to do those things outside of work that really satisfy you and that really bring you that joy. So you just start feeling like a slave to this one thing, this one area of your life, and you can't be that free spirit that you are. Um, and there's definitely a lot of messages about your love life, how you just want to spend time with your boyfriend or your husband or your partner or your person or your girlfriend, or you want more time to date or fall in love. And that's like a huge priority to you, but it's like you're being taken away from that. And so it's just everything and all the energy is going here. And I'll be honest, like you do need to work more on setting boundaries, with your job and mentally because whatever job you do, it's going to be stressful and you're going to have to learn when you come home or when you clock off um, to, to focus the mind, to cut those cords, to, you know, not worry so much, let it get to you, to not go around and around and around and around because that one thing that person said at work that triggered you or because everybody's emailing you still and pressuring you like it's almost like you need 
that's something that you might realize is a pattern no matter what job you go to like you can't calm down after work or like you have anxiety or like you workaholic or you work way too much and like some of it is pressure you're putting on yourself I'm sorry I don't want to victim blame you because <laughs> I really feel like this job you're at is toxic and you might need to leave um but um there's this message that like you have to take responsibility for that and you're in this habit in this pattern and um you're gonna have to break that um and you might go to a new job that's a lot more peaceful and realize oh my gosh like I'm still carrying this energy with me um so there is a message about like finding peace within and you know but what's happening right now is that the even if you did that, it, it, this is just, pff, it's just falling apart. <laughs> it's toxic. And I actually see you leaving this position. And there's this message that the rainbow comes after the storm. Now, this is a timeless reading. But at the time that I'm doing this reading, we just like went through some eclipses. I've been talking about it so much on the channel. Because eclipse season is real. And these eclipses were so real. <laughs> They were so intense. And a lot of us have realized on the other side what we need to let go of, what needs to be released. It's that time of year, you know? And I think for you, this might be it. You probably just like clicked on this reading so fast because you were hoping maybe there would be a message about this, that like things were going to get better, that a new job would come, that you could walk away, that everything was going to be okay. And that's what I'm telling you right now. Um, that's why they're saying you need to get this going, that... Like, maybe this opportunity has already come. Like, just take it, you know? Even if it's going to pay you less. Even if it's not, like, what you thought. Like, it's almost like anything to leave this, <laughs> this situation. You'll figure it out. Uh, let's get some clarification for you. Yeah, take the lead. Um, I also feel like you're having a hard time leaving this job because you have some friends there and you have people there that like you care about and um, you feel guilty or you feel responsible, but like you have to choose yourself. Like you need, you deserve the time for your projects. You deserve the time to be with your loved ones. And the, it's just the culture with this job and this, it's just gotten out of control. Yeah, you think about the past. You think about like when you were younger and like you didn't have as much responsibility and you hadn't come as far in your career and like you feel like you just lost out on the good old days. But your guides are telling you that you're going to be reunited with that so soon. Like you maybe you feel like you're old, like you age so much at this job or like. But no, like you it's just give it a little time away from this position moving forward balancing and you'll feel like yourself again so um this is a very specific message i don't want to tell anybody based off this reading to just go do something impulsive take your time and it might not be that you leave right now but if this resonates then trust yourself and i spent some time journaling about it and soul searching but you have full support to move forward to make whatever move you need to make and you're going to manifest a new position so wow you got to let me know if this resonates because it is very specific. Real quick, I did want to just let you know I'm having my 15% off sale for a personal reading. So if you'd like to discuss this more, if you want to chat with me, um, you want to pull some cards or have a, just a reading sent over to you, then check out my website. I'd love to support you. And I love and I appreciate when you guys support me um, by purchasing these readings. But another great way to support me and my channel is simply to just hit that like button and leave a comment below. Thanks again for coming to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number three, let's see what's going on in your career right now. What do you need to know? This is the card you chose, but we're going to we're going to pull some more cards for you here real quick as well start looking into this energy who whoa that's so weird I never pulled these two cards back to back oh my gosh 
Wow, no wonder you clicked on this reading. That's all I'm gonna say. You probably clicked on this reading so fast. There is a huge shift going on in your career right now. Um, I know you're probably hanging on the edge of your seat wondering well, what's going on, what's she seeing in the cards? Give me a second, I need some more clarity before I drop this download on you, but yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so the first, this is the card you chose and it says an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. Now this is weird. I don't usually like consult the book, but I am getting this message to read to you from the book. Five there. This situation hasn't worked out the way that you hoped, but you can try again. Your power lies not in how all the chips fall, but in how you handle yourself moving forward. You may now feel that the cost of this venture is too high. Carefully evaluate the way events have transpired in order to gain valuable lessons for your future. And then this message, someone in this situation isn't coming from a place of integrity. The desire to win is so strong that this individual will ignore others' needs. Review others' motives, including your own, and do what you can to foster a win-win resolution. Yeah, there's definitely some drama going on in the workplace. Maybe this is some drama with your boss or a superior. It could be a coworker, you know. It could even be multiple people. But... I do get this message that because of this conflict, like you might be sending, maybe you've been sending your resume out and you've been trying to leave this job and you've been trying to move on. Um, but the problem is, is that maybe you haven't been at this job long enough or like the position that you want to go out for, like you don't have enough experience for yet or something. There's like some kind of blockage. So you just feel like you're trapped in this position Meanwhile, I'm getting a message that like you're not going to be working these types of jobs or this job for much longer. Something really unexpected could happen in your love life, actually, or in um, with uh, something that you like maybe a business you start or like something that you stumble across that leads to like a path where you get to move on, you get to move forward, you get to leave this. Um, the hard thing is, is that we're getting queen of wands reversed. You're not there yet. So that business that you want to start, that position you want to be in, everything just being taken care of, um, it hasn't happened yet. And look, no matter what, some people think if I just start my own business and like I, you know, sell skincare products because, and I come out with my own line of blah, 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 everything will be better and I'll be doing what I love. But there's, there's going to be drama there too. There's going to be annoying, toxic people there too. And it's going to have its own set of problems. But look, if that's more in alignment for you, awesome, work towards it. I have a feeling you already know what path you really want to be on with your career and you want to shift and you want to change, but it's just kind of overwhelming and you don't know where to start. Um, there's a message that this particular situation that you're in, this conflict that you're having with this boss or this coworker, um, the person who doesn't really have integrity, it's going to end naturally. Like you don't need to do anything, almost like just sit back Try not to entangle with that person. Maybe even try the gray rock method. You know, don't like basically not giving them any personal details, not being too emotional with them. Yeah, maybe kind of walking on eggshells, pick your battles, keep your head down. This person is actually probably going to leave the company soon or is going to burn out or they're going to there's a message that they're going to dig their own grave. So you might be frustrated. You might be thinking, I want to go to HR or I need to report this. I mean, obviously, you if it's something, do what you got to do. But there's this message like 
that you can pull back. This person might be attacking you or almost like targeting you because they see that you're the queen of wands or they see that you're really talented or they know that you people are noticing the good work that you do. Like you're someone who gives like 110% of yourself like at your job. You might not even super care that much about this job like you do, but like it's you have other plans. Like you've got big goals and big dreams. You're on a journey. This is definitely not where the journey ends. Like your current situation is not your final destination. And I think this person knows that. I think they know that this is a stepping stone for you, but the sad thing for them is like in their mind, they think that this job or this position is the best they could get or like that it's as far as they're going to go. Like they're washed up, they're burned out and they're coming, their life is a mess and they're coming into work and they're just, um, they're just like a dragon, just like breathing fire on everybody and taking it out on everyone. And they're making everything so chaotic. And so you might be thinking about confronting them or trying to have this conversation or telling someone this or like, but it's almost this message don't get involved. Let them dig their own grave. Um, you are going to make tons of money and be super secure materialistically doing something that you love. And it actually might be more than just one thing. You will become the queen of wands. And the queen of wands is somebody who's like an entrepreneur. They have their own business. They've got clients or they're selling something or they're like... They're just out there doing their thing. It could even be that like some of you, I see you getting married and like your partner's supporting you and you're you're just doing artistic things and or there's windfall, inheritance, there's good energy. Like this card is about struggling with money and worried about your material situation and it's reverse. It's like you're not going to have to worry. So there's this huge message that your future is and there's this death card about how you're going to leave this behind but this is where you're at right now and I feel like the only way forward is just to go through this you can't run away from it there's something you're supposed to learn here and it's hard for me to put my finger on and there's a lot of people watching this it could be different for each person but you know you might you might feel like you just keep going from workplace to workplace and the same thing keeps happening over and over again and yeah there is a karmic cycle and also like need to realize this is like late stage capitalism and the whole system's falling apart and like like workplace the way like a lot of us live is like very toxic is not natural to us as humans especially if you're a woman or divine feminine is not you know so <laughs> there's that but there's this message that like to open yourself to receive like to start preparing for like a deep transformation this frustration with this path you're on with the career could be the catalyst that could push you over here and help you make some new choices and take a chance for yourself. So you might not know where this is all going, but I hopefully I helped kind of unveil some of that for you. Um, keep your head down, pick your battles, it's going to fizzle out. And there will be more peace at this job. And yeah, maybe you, you won't get the new job just yet. If you want to move on, you can move on, you can manifest it, but it's almost like you need to stay and glean these gems from the situation there will be rewards for you um and whatever this person is saying about you whatever they're trying to pin on you like other people know the truth like they they can see right through it so just they're gonna move on to some and pick on somebody else and they might even leave this situation so don't worry like it's gonna get more peaceful at your job so I hope this resonates with you. You have to let me know what you think because it's a really specific message. And I do want to remind you that I'm offering 15% off of all my readings. So if you want to chat about this more, maybe hang out in a Skype or a Zoom and we can talk and pull cards or uh, you want me to send a reading over to you, uh, check it out. Uh, this is a great time to get a reading and I really appreciate all of your support through the holidays uh, another great way to support my channel, though, is to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment. So thank you so much for coming to my channel, and I will see you next time. Peace out.